So hopefully, as everybody knows by now, um, three days or so ago, it's really been two days and a bunch of hours ago, uh, we launched Justice Democrats. Uh, Justice Democrats is an attempt to have the Bernie wing of the Democratic Party take over the Democratic Party and kick out the corporatists, kick out the establishment. And I wanted to give everybody an up update on how that's going so far. So the first day numbers were pretty impressive. The second day numbers were pretty impressive. And now here, the almost third day numbers are earth shattering. So we're not even three full days into it. And the Twitter account for Justice Democrats went from nobody to nearly 17,000. In fact, it's probably over 17,000 people now. That is ridiculous. So there's an impact here. There's an impact here. Now, furthermore, over 50,000 people have signed up for Justice Democrats, have, uh, you know, put their name on the site in support of Justice Democrats. By the way, it's justicedemocrats.com. Please go do that if you haven't and you uh, believe in what we're trying to do here and what we're pushing for. Uh, so, and that number is probably much higher now. These numbers that I'm giving you are actually from, like, evening time yesterday. So, I wouldn't be surprised if that's over 55,000 people now. Maybe even 60,000 people. But I know for sure it's over 50,000 people have said, yes, let's do Justice Democrats. Uh, furthermore, nearly 200,000 people have donated Man, think about the impact of that. Nearly 200,000. So, uh, I believe the amount that has been raised is over 200,000. So, again, you want to talk about having an impact. P I think people understand this is bigger... This is bigger than me, obviously. This is bigger than uh, Jank, who helped me with... Uh, the platform and bigger than Bernie's top campaign officials who helped us build Justice Democrats and set the infrastructure up and who are going to be dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's behind the scenes and vetting the candidates and picking the candidates and running the candidates. It's bigger than that. I mean, it's a movement. It's a movement to really have a Democratic Party that actually represents the people. And so far, this is probably the most important number. There's been over 950 candidates nominated. Now that means 950, more than 950 people. And we're only, again, not even three full days in yet. But over 950 people, they're going to be vetted. They're going to be trained. Uh, and obviously there's, you know, not all those 950 are going to run for office, but they pick the best candidates of those 950. And then they run for office, and we primary all the shitty corporate Democrats. So this is... I mean, this gives this gives me life when I read this. Now, again, I'm tired as a motherfucker. You guys could probably tell. I'm probably slurring my words a little bit, and my eyes are glassy. I've been running on, you know, it's, for me, this isn't that much. But six hours sleep one night, which many of you are like, what are you talking about? I get that, like, every night. Five hours sleep another night. I'm used to getting seven or eight, so I'm a little bit wiped out here. I've been working till the wee hours of the morning. And what we've been doing is making sure the values we represent are laid out in that uh, platform. Now, there's another way to do a platform, which we haven't done, uh, which is like a platform platform, which is, all right, let's literally lay out the hundreds of policies that we're in favor of in every excruciating detail and get into all the nooks and crannies of all the, you know, insanely obscure issues. We haven't done a platform platform, but we did obviously uh, our article, which is lays out the broad strokes of what we support. So people have contacted Justice Democrats and they've done it, uh, you know, mostly in good spirit saying, oh, hey, by the way, like you guys forgot this or you guys forgot that. And sometimes our response is, oh, that's right. We did forget that. So, you know, we've been working behind the scenes. To, oh, okay, let me uh, let me tweak this. Let me tweak that to make sure uh, everything is just right. 
But I think people get the gist of the movement here, and I think that's why it's been such a positive launch, is that we're tired of the corporate Democrats. We're tired of the establishment Democrats. We're tired of the Cory Bookers and the Hillary Clintons. Uh, we're tired of Democrats who are blue dog Democrats, who are just Democrats from red states who almost uh, who vote with the Republicans almost as much as they vote with the Democrats. We're tired of Democrats who are voting to confirm Donald Trump's picks. Now, look, I'm not an unreasonable person. Are there some who I'd say, yeah, we live to fight another day. This isn't the worst person in the world. So, for example, uh, there was General Mattis, who he picked for one of his top positions. Um, he reportedly, a while back, had talked Trump out of torture. He said, look, I get more with a case of beer and a TV than I do uh, actually doing torture. And Trump was like, oh, that, that, like, that argument resonated with Trump. So a, a guy like that, okay, I get it. He's way better than the other picks Trump made. So if you want to make a deal and say, all right, look, you can have Mattis, but here's who you're not having. You're not having Rex Tillerson, ExxonMobil CEO for Secretary of State. You're not having John Bolton, the second in command at the State Department. You're not having Jeff Sessions as Attorney General. You're not having uh, Puzder. You're not having Pompeo. Remember, Pompeo wants Edward Snowden dead, and he, he was fine with torture. He called the people who did the torture patriots. And we're going to put him as the head of the CIA? Are you crazy? And guess what? Many Democrats are rolling over. Chuck Schumer voted for all four of Trump's picks that have had votes so far. And then on top of that, there was just an article somebody tweeted me this morning. It was on the Hill. They said, Chuck Schumer emerging as a champion of the left. No! To steal from Trump. Wrong, 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 wrong. That's not true at all. If you're voting for all of Trump's picks, left my ass cheeks. That ain't left, bitch. So, they're people are tired of that. They're tired of being told as they look at what Chuck Schumer does. And they look at how he's a corporatist Democrat. And then the mainstream media acts like, oh, he is such a lefty. People are so f fucking grossed out by that and sick of that. They say, okay, anything, anything and everything to... to to try to get uh, actual liberal values, progressive values, implemented into law. To actually fight for the people. And by the way, that leads to, again, I want to stress this very important point. When we launched Justice Democrats, when we were having the conversations behind the scenes, we came to the conclusion our best chance of winning is to take over the Democratic Party. So we considered doing a third party. But when we really looked into it, we found that there are so many institutional biases set up against them that it's basically taking a sledgehammer, swinging it at one of your kneecaps, and then telling the person, go hop along to do a marathon. You got to run the marathon on one leg. So we figured, why would we tr handicap ourselves in attempting to get our agenda implemented and in attempting to get rid of the corporate Democrats? So that's why we picked taking over the Democratic Party. Now, I understand that upsets some people, but you need to understand, uh, I, we don't view ourselves as in competition with the Greens. We don't view ourselves as in competition with the Democratic Socialists. We don't view ourselves in competition with independence. The whole thing our movement is built on isn't independent. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. So... I'm in favor of any and every avenue for us to win in terms of the policies. All I care about is getting our policies implemented for the American people because the polls show the American people want it. Everything else is just noise. If Greens start being overwhelmingly successful or Democratic Socialists start being overwhelmingly successful, you will have me there cheering every step of the way. You're my ally in this fight. I'm not against you. So I need everybody to get that because there's a sense among some people that, oh, well, you picked that, uh, you know, direction. Obviously, you're selling out. Selling out? We're trying to kick out the corporate Democrats. We're trying to, to wage a grassroots revolution from within because according to our research, we think that's the best way to actually get our policies implemented. Now, if you disagree, that is fine. You are my ally in the fight as long as we agree on the core issues. And we do. If you're somebody who's a principled leftist, you do. You agree with us on the core issues. 
You want to get money out of politics. You want to get rid of the corporate Democrats because you know that's the cancer at the heart of our political system where the politicians represent their donors and they don't represent the people. That's been proven. There was a Princeton study which found that we function as an oligarchy, not a democracy. So if you get that main fact, you're my ally. If you want to get make the minimum wage a living wage, you're my ally. If you want to get a single payer universal health care system, you're my ally. You want to push for universal college, you're my ally. If you want to make the United States of America catch up to other industrialized nations and you want to turn us into a thriving social democracy like the Scandinavian countries, you're my ally. I'm tired of looking at the, the numbers, oh, you're number 37 in healthcare, you know, you're, you're far down the list in education, and you go through it. You find that, oh, look at that, we're, the only thing we're number one is, is obesity and, like, mass incarceration. No, that's not what we should be number one in, so this is a movement to actually get us back to number one in relevant categories. Military spending is another area where we're number one. If you want to end rampant militarism and nation building, you're my ally. So, we think this is the best way to do it. I hope you will join our movement, but as long as you're fighting for these principles and these values, you're my ally nonetheless. So, I need to be crystal, crystal clear about that. And... It's a crucial time, man. I don't want to sit around anymore. It drives me crazy. I told you, the original idea of Justice Democrats, I was going to come out here within the week after Donald Trump got elected, the week after he won the election, not the inauguration, the election. I was going to come out here and, and basically just go through almost that platform that I went through the other day, the Justice Democrats platform. And I was just going to say, here's what the Democrats need to do and blah, 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 blah. And okay, somebody go do it. I don't want to do it. You do it. <laughs> it's too much. I fucking host a, a show and I work long hours without even worrying about Justice Democrats. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to say, hey, this is the direction, and now somebody take initiative and go do it. It became clear that, you know, the only way to get something done is to go do it yourself. So we set up the framework, we set up the groundwork, and I learned that that seems to be the only thing that people wanted is the spark. Because after you do the spark, people go, yeah! So all anybody needs, including myself, with the overwhelming majority of issues, you just need that little spark and that little, that little bit of framework set up for you. That little bit of direction so you know you're not flailing in the wind. So now that we have that set up, there's no excuse now. There's no excuse. We have the infrastructure set up with uh, Bernie Sanders campaign officials doing the groundwork, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, vetting the candidates. So now it's just a matter of recruitment. So I just have to tell you guys, hey, look, this is what's going on. Do you believe in it or not? If you believe in it, let's go. Let's go. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what we're waiting for. There's no reason to wait anymore. JusticeDemocrats.com. Read the platform. See if you agree with the platform. Uh, and if you agree with the core mission, sign your name in support of it. And, you know, it's even better if you decide to either nominate yourself to run or nominate somebody you know who you think should run who can actually represent the community. That's even better. And remember, since we're not taking any money from corporations and billionaires, none, that means we rely on you. So I've come out here every day since we've launched and said, let's do it, man. We need the construction worker, we need the accountant, we need the teacher, we need the union guy, we need $27 at a time, we're going to build this thing from the ground up. And understand, we're trying to run candidates with a lot of donors who are regular people, working people, small money donations. And the corporatist Democrats are going to be doing what? Raising larger sums of money from corporations and Wall Street and billionaires. So that's what we're up against. I need you to know, institutional advantages against us are real. I mean, they're really, really real against third parties. And by the way, our platform has ideas that would try to make third parties more viable, because again, you're our ally. But the biases against third parties are over the top. And the biases against Justice Democrats and taking over the Democratic Party, it's not as bad as it would be against third parties, but we still have massive institutional biases against us because the last thing the establishment wants is a true left populist grassroots movement. And that's what we're trying to build, and that's what we're trying to deliver. But it ain't about me, it's about you. 
It's not about me, it's about the American people. Again, look at the polling numbers, man. How many times have we gone through it? How many times have I shown everybody on the show? When the establishment acts like far leftist Bernie Sanders, oh my god, oh, this is crazy, look at this guy, oh. He is, he is a moderate, he is a centrist with the American public because his ideas are overwhelmingly popular. So he's only a far leftist if you go by, go by that massively skewed Washington spectrum, which is way off to the right. So remember that, always remember that, because that's what the data shows, that's what the numbers show. So we have the majority on our side. So let's fight for what we believe in here. The time is now. There's never been a, a clearer time, man. You had the, the corporate Democrats got wiped out and the establishment is trying to double down on the corporatism and the neoliberalism. That's why they stacked the DNC with former Hillary Clinton campaign officials to defeat Trump. That's what they say, the war room to defeat Trump. You just lost to Trump, literally. You were in Hillary's campaign. You're the last people who should be running that. So they're doubling down on neoliberalism. The establishment goes, ah, oh, damn it, we lost that election. I know what the answer is. Run further to the right, be more corporatist, be more pro-establishment. So the answer is always the same to them. Go further right, more towards the Republicans, more towards the establishment, more towards the corporations, more towards Wall Street. Well, we're here to say, no, you're going to keep losing that way. This is why Republicans have the presidency, the Senate, the House of Representatives, a majority of state legislatures, and a majority of governorships. They have everything. Goddamn everything. So, that's where we come in. No more sitting around. Let's do it. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. JusticeDemocrats.com. Get involved. Lead this thing. Fight for what you believe in. Take a pledge to take no money from corporations and billionaires. And let's rebuild this thing. And let's take over the country and implement policies for the people.